in your hometown right now, you're accustomed to the way things work. You're accustomed to a lifestyle. You've grown comfortable with it because more than likely you've been in this spot for quite some time now. And here's how it goes. When you're around something for so long, when you've been in a culture for so long, you begin to become conditioned, right? The norms of, you know, the area, they start to rub off on you. And here's an example that you can relate to. If in your hometown, right, let's say people who are balling, they make like 150, 200 grand a year you're going to view that as the pinnacle. That's the pinnacle. Because you see it like living proof that that is a lot of money. It gives them a great lifestyle where you live. And there's a story about this. It's called the grasshopper in a jar. So this guy, he had a mason jar and he put a cover on the mason jar. Grasshoppers would jump, they couldn't get out. And then he takes the cover off and the grasshoppers just stopped jumping. They couldn't get out. And the premise of that is that is going to be what's called your upper limit. And here's what I mean. If you view 150 to 200 K in, you know, in your town, if that's a lot of money, you're going to shoot for that goal. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. Like when I first got into sales, my goal was to clear a quarter million. And that's cool, that's great. But there was a huge, huge mistake I made with that. I set the bar way too low. Because 250K, it was more my parents made. It was more than, I mean, p parents don't really talk about income, so I didn't know what you know other people were doing, but I was super passionate about chasing that because I knew like no one from my hometown could make that type of money. That really inspired me. It pushed me. But here's the flaw. When I moved to LA and I moved out of my hometown, $250,000 in LA is chump change. It's chump change. Dude, rent was, in some of the places with the guys, sixteen grand, $16,000 a month for rent. Now, granted, you, you divvy it up with the guys, but I mean, dude, it ain't cheap. And since I was in sales, you know, I would qualify people. We do a credit check. So we were selling a product and service that on the high end, it was 80 to $135,000 max. It's a lot of money. And, you know, do a credit check. I'd ask them, cool, household income. They give me the income. And I noticed, <laughs> like, it all changed, dude. When you go from your hometown seeing people pull in 200,000, they drive a nice car, an Audi, all this stuff, you're like, damn, that's sweet. But when you move to a new spot and you see people making millions a year with a fleet of cars, Lambos, Ferraris, it, it completely changes the way you think and it makes you raise your standard Here's why that's important, dude, is if you set a goal, right? Let's say you're at 10K a month and you want to get to, to 20K a month. You really don't know what to do to get to 20K a month besides just doing more of what you do. You don't know what works and what doesn't. Does that make sense? You know what I mean? And conceptualize it like this. Let's say you make like 50 grand a year right now. Okay, you're getting by, you're doing what you have to do. If you set a goal to make 500 grand next year, that's a 10X, dude. Huge, big time. Huge, huge come up for you. If you set that goal, you're probably going to stop doing 80% of what you're doing right now. You're not going to go on social media as much. You're not going to probably hang out with friends as much. You're not going to spend as much time chasing tail. You're not going to mess around. You're not going to waste time. And that's the whole premise of it is moving out of your hometown changes your paradigm in the way you think. And it forces you to think bigger. I get it. There's risk involved. Dude, when I moved to LA, I like 500 to a thousand dollars. I had one credit card. That was it. 
and the most dangerous person is the person with nothing to lose with their back against the wall. And you got to start viewing that a, a decision like that in the right light. And here's how I view it, right? When I wanted to move out of my, when I wanted to move out of my hometown, I asked myself two things. What's the worst scenario? What's the worst thing that could happen, right? I go broke. I lose all my money. I go back home. I live with my parents and I work in the factory again. It's the worst scenario, right? One out of 10. 10 being the worst thing ever, one being a sunny day in paradise. What would that consequence be? I said a seven. And I was like, all right, I can live with that. Now on the opposite side, I move out of my hometown. What's the best thing that could happen? What's the best scenario, right? I hit my goal. I make a quarter million dollars. I start living the life of my dreams. And I'm in a kick-ass environment around people who want the same stuff as me. And I'm inspired daily to push towards my goals. One out of 10, what is that? 10 being best thing ever, one being worst thing ever. I was like, that's probably a nine to a 10. That's how I came up with the decision for me. A lot of times when you're trying to do something big, even if it's, if it's a move for you, since this is the topic, uh, the topic we're talking about today, you just really gotta think, what is there to lose and can I live with that? And I could. Like when I dropped out of college, college would be there for me. They, they always need people to enroll. And I was like, you know what? I can, I can always go back. My job, I can go back. I can find another job. I could bartend. There's, there's always something there for you. It's, and it goes back to a great quote. This is, this is part of the reason why I took the risk is because you either take the risk or you lose the chance. It fades, dude. Opportunities, they come, they go. Like for instance, social media marketing agencies, they're dying. They're, they're, not, they're not as big anymore. But I know people three years ago, three, four years ago, were making 30, 40K a month off them. Now it's, it's not really happening. Most opportunities come and they go. And when you move out of your hometown, A, you're presented with more opportunities. You're, you're around opportunity. You're around the money. Like think of money like this. If it's uh, you ever went to like Chuck E. Cheese or something when you were a kid and the money would fall from the sky and you got, you got to grab it. It was like dollar bills, right? Here's how I view it. If you're in a small town, there's like 50 bucks in that machine. If you move to a big town, there's a lot of money, there's young people, they're hustling, they're grinding, they're starting business. It's just a great place to be. And a lot more money's falling from the sky. That's how I view it, is just get around the money. It's proximity. You know, if you're around this, this town, that, that's why the, my biggest expense has always been rent. It's always been rent. You can call it dumb, you can call it stupid. It doesn't matter, dude. It's made me more money because I'm in this environment where everyone's just making so much more and it reminds me how much farther I have to go. Moving out of your hometown, you've been told this lie that you shouldn't compare yourself to others. And I get that but I don't agree with it. Because back in my hometown, if I just compared myself to others, I'd be at the top 1%. And I'd get comfortable. And I would just stay there. And I don't, I don't care what you say, bro. When you get to 10, 20, 30, 40 grand a month, it, it's gonna feel like what you already have. You get used to it. You're your normal, your homeostasis, if we wanna get in science term, it changes. You're accustomed to a new level of income. I've said this before, dude. I've had literally 30, 40, 50 Gs in my account and I still feel broke. I've talked to millionaires about this. The CEO at our past company, Zane Jane, I was talking to him about this. I was like, Zane, why do I feel broke right now? And he's like, dude, I feel the same exact way never goes away. 
just keeps growing with you. And that's another reason, dude, to move out of the hometown. It's going to change what you view as a lot. It's going to make you uncomfortable. That's how you create growth. That, that kind of unstable period where your back's against the wall. And, you know, you ask yourself those questions. What's the worst scenario? What's the best scenario? And you weigh it out. Make a grown-up decision. Right? So, for me, it was getting into sales. I believe wholeheartedly it's the best thing anyone can do. Because if you start an agency, you start growth operating, you start any freaking business model in the world, you're going to need to sell people on your service. So just learn sales. It's literally the foundation of everything. My buddy is going to be a financial advisor. He's going to need to learn sales to sell clients, to close clients. It's the foundation, bro. You have to learn it. And we're going to start teaching that too. But stay committed, stay focused, and take some action, dude. Start getting the bus rolling. Right, this is the type of this is the time of year, bro, where people start to fall off. You got a course correct now. This this is where you want to start to double down. You put the pedal further to the floor. And that's how you get ahead. I'll see you in the next one.